So in this today's video, what I'm gonna do is called a back testing lessons, right? So I was just I just got done back testing. I wanna see what I learned in this lessons, right? I wanna see what kind of I done during this back testing because I didn't lose no trade on this back testing, and I'm somehow losing trades every single day. So I'm gonna go look at this back testing and see what should I have I been doing, what should I have I, what should I have I been doing on this, all right? So let's get to it. So at this trade right over here, right? You could see, right? I entered right here when it touches the auto block. You know what I'm saying? Brand farm out of wake up touch happened. You know, came right here. Reaction out of it. Reaction out of this zone right here. What could have I done better on this? Once he hits my take profit, I will. So once I hit my take profit, right? Break even and start. I should have. What I could I do better is I could literally try my stop loss to up like right here when he was up here. When it's up here, I try my stop loss. Keep on going up with it, right? Keep on going up with it, right? Don't, don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Profit is profit. So when he came back down, it took me out. What could have I done better in this trade? I could have literally widened my stop loss. Do, do a wide stop loss, right? So use more, give some air to, give some air to your trades, right? That's what I've done better on this one, right? So this one, try your stop loss. This one, make a wider stop loss, right? For this one now, TP hit so this one same thing I would have not cast out you know why because the uh, candle ended above the 15 minute and uh, the 15 minute ended above the take profit so I was gonna hold it till here boom right that's what we got done right so what could have we done on this right yo this is all raw raw video right so on this right what could we do what could have we done done better on this trade right that I take from right here we could have what we could have done better is widen our top loss. You know why? He looks such a big, it's such an old big auto block, right? Putting it inside right here is reasonable because right here is a the resistance area, so we get support areas. They could touch that and go back up, right? That's why we we widen our stop loss, right? Widen the stop loss, right? And right here, get out right here because why? Because this became as a sweep. Fifteen minute went below it, so if you sweep of that, that's what we could have done better. And it's just the order book as well. Look at this, we're gonna do better, right? On this one, what could have we done better on this one? Basically, to me, this why your stop loss? You know, although you didn't go up here, if I put my stop loss right here, it's being risky. Although, yeah, I'm gonna make money more, right? It's more risky, you know what I'm saying? Wanna give air to the trade. So, put it right on this end of this fair I get right over here, right? So, that's what I could have done better. Get out right here. On this, the buy position, what could have I done better? On this buy position, I could have done better was why did my thing stop loss again? Give more aid to my stop loss, right? Right, that's what I could have done better. And for this other one right over here, what could have I done better on this one? It was basically after the sweep of liquidity, why didn't you stop loss? You know what I'm saying? I can't just put my stop loss like, yo, I took it right here, I could put it right here, right? Yes, it didn't touch it. But you want to be really careful. You want to you want to give space. You're gonna you want to give air to your trade, right? And hit my take profit for. So if you hit my take profit there, what could have you done better? Is put our take profit right on this high because what they sweep up this high, so you could touch this high they come back down, right? That's what you could have done better, right? This is all the lesson I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna watch the video, right? That's what you could have done better. So on this next trade, what could have we done better on this trade? Says because this. Auto block was so huge, right? Such a huge auto block, right? What I could have done better is literally wide the stop loss, you know what I'm saying? Be more careful. Because this this he created a strong support area right over here, but that was before when I answered, right? So what I could have done better? Literally widen your stop loss. Don't put it like right here. Put it more wide to like right here. So end of the fair value get right over here. Boom, that's where you put my stop loss there, right? And take profit got smashed. So Break even, so what I've done better, break even right here. Once he hit this thing, right here, get out. Right, that's what I've done better. So once he hit my support area, or resistance area, break even. Doesn't matter if it's close to me or not, break even, right? What could we done better on this trade right over here? It's basically widen your stop loss because it's a risky place. So right here looks good to be a stop loss. Right here looks good to be a stop loss. Take profit is right here. It looks to be good, as, it looks right here. End of the end of end of it, end of it, or the start of the support looks good. 
so far right, this is already right level, right? But usually I want to go with the start of it, not not the end of it, right? So what could be done better on this? Like this long position was let the Fervaga get full. So next time we're gonna keep in mind, let the Fervaga get deeper fill in, right? That's what we could have done better. And why did our stop loss? Because it was too risky to be here. So why did your stop loss way better than putting it too close, right? Give the give the trade give the trade more space give give like the sell stop more space to trade you know what I'm saying give it more air what could we done better on this one is basically what I think we could have done better is put your sell stop right below this put your sell stop not like somewhere here put your sell stop like right here because there's a fair flag that got touched and there's a strong key zone area the strong support area right to go up and boom TP got smashed so this one you got smashed right 15 minute close above it so matter so out of gun originally arrived right here right that's what we could have done better this next trade over here what could we have done better on this trade is basically I'll probably say widen your stop loss to like a little bit more down there might be a building block over here so but widening right here but although the risk reward share on that is like really horrible putting it like all to be here but it's a one to one good right why the stop loss give more air because there's like really tricky spot what you could have done is put it right below this because what the fair like I got respected and been right there so widen the stop loss and use the 30 minute as take profit use auto block to take profit use other building by to take profit and other thing is that see how the 15 minute closes at the 15 minute closes below it then get out or or above it, get out, depending on the bias. Right. So what could we done better on this trade right over here? What could we done better? Why did our stop loss? Why did out? See, it's like a little too tight, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not gonna just go back up, go get a deeper fill of this auto block. So widen it to like right here. That's the highest high and a strong, really, really strong resistance area. Okay. So what could we done better on this trade right over here? That we took the long position over here we could have literally as i said deeper fill the fervile gap get a deeper fill the fervile gap and it is a support and strong support area to push it back up so and from here right with my entry we could have literally done better is right when, right when it touched it why did the stop loss i feel like right here is all right but next time make sure the stop loss is like somewhere over here you know what i'm saying where another building block can hold us back off or right over here right that's where we're gonna put our stop loss so why didn't stop loss give more air and this close below so i would have literally got out the trade right here because 15 minute close below it right so we could have done better so what could we have done better on this trade over here i would say so myself is literally so once you get the entry position little get it get it a little wider because if i put it here the spread is going to take me out so putting the sell stop right like down here to the next fair value gap or a little below so the thing is right here the spread is right here right the spread might take me out so put a little low below that body a little 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 bit of the body so make the make the sell stop a little wider right give more air to the trade right and once you hit this they became right on liquidity and this became a sweep of liquidity under 15 minutes so get out right here so what could have i done on this better on this trade over here as i said why the take profit i mean why the sell stop right get a wider let the let the sell stop give more air right because look there's so much building block here why the sell stop and this is really strong position to go you know saying so if you touch this can go back up easily right so wider make your sell stop wider right that's what could have done better and tp got hit right over there as you can see so what could have i done better on this other chair right over here is he was already in the auto block got out of the auto block got a sweep of the auto block is now on this one the touch of the breaker block or auto block matters so right when it touches it it matters you can, you can look for the entry position right and what i could have done better on this is Put the sell stop a little wider, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you gotta put it tight, but you know how the market in New York touching is fast, right? So, why why did the sell stop? So, I could put it below the breaker block, 
right? That's where we could have put it below. Or we could have put it in, we could have said a one minute time frame is way different. One minute time frame, you put it right below that fair value gap, right on the end of the fair value gap, you can see right here. It's taking a long time because my match is messed up. It's right below the fair value gap right there, right? So what could be done better on this other trade over here? Where was it? All the way. Where, what the heck was it? So what could we done better on this trade from yesterday trade? It's basically why the take profit. I mean, why the sell stop? Make those give air, give more air to the sell stop. Don't be greedy. Give give more air to the sell stop and do not break even too quick. Do not break even too quick and recall it. Put the sell stop wider, right? Put the sell stop wider and then I break even too early. Once he that take profit, you should only. I should only break. I should only break even once he that take profit. If he doesn't hit the take profit, take me out. I don't care, right? Because. This would have not been a loss, right? I have I had zero loss, right? So basically, make the sell stop wider, get a deeper fill of the breakup block, order block. No, get a deeper fill of the fair value gap. If it touches the order block or breakup block, you could literally look for conflicts to go up or down, but depending on the bias, and give more air to your trade. So make the make the sell stop wider, and what you could have done better is do not break even, do not break even too quick. You know what I'm saying? Because you could have just took me out. That's not good, right? So what if we've done better on this other trade from today? Literally, one to one, wider, make the sell stop wider, you know what I'm saying? If you go to the five minute time frame, we could have put our sell stop right below this right here because what well, this, place, this place right here is a strong support area. If you go to the one minute time frame, it's a little better to read it. Right below that fair value gap, right, the, right there good enough spot to put it you could put it there or you could put it here but you want to hit one to one right so yeah so you want to hit a one to one so right here it looks really realistic to put it and yeah give give more air to the trade so what we learned today from the back testing get a deeper fill of the fair value gap once it touches the order block or breakup block you can look for trades and give more air to the sell stop to your trade so make the sell stop wider and if one hits to take profit, look at 15 minutes, if it goes below or above it, then that's how you decide to get out the market or stay in the market, right? And the other thing is that, is do not break even too early. Do not break even too early. That's what I learned from today. That's from practicing. That's what I learned. And yeah, let's get to it, man. Let's get to work. Let's not keep on losing trades. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a perfect trade. Let's not fumble the bag every time. Let's put ourselves out water. Let's get a deeper fill of the fair value. Let's, let's not trade near the end of the, let's not trade near near the end of the like the hourly candle if it's so if the arrow can has gone is near to close and there's a build of blood that's getting created after the after the close strikes down okay so we have to wait down wait until the hourly candle closes do not trade near the hourly candle close wait be patient and yeah that's what i got for today and yes so what do we left for today once again get a deeper feel of the fair value when you touch the order block or breakup block look for you can look for trade Put the stuff out wider. Want to take that profit? If the 15 minute close above it or above it, or so if it, if it take profit, if the if the market closed above the take profit, hold. If it doesn't close above the take profit, get out fully positioned, right? I think I learned that is if the if the alley is near to close, wait, be patient because it's gonna be dangerous position because there might be an auto block that's getting auto block or break block, whatever the build block might be recreating and much code right there. And you know, saying how that happened today, right here. Strike right down, boom, feel the fair value, and then we're back up, right? And what's the other thing that I learned today is do not break even too early and hold the trade and do not over trade and control yourself. Stay emotionless. Don't let the tr don't let the losing streak take over. That's my f that is my back to thing lessons. Thank you for watching.